Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. Today's video is of a Tico build and we'll be taking the stock off and replacing the recall lug with the steel one instead of the other one that's in their factory one. It's a lot stronger, a lot heavier and uh, won't um, wear a lot. I'll be changing the trigger as well going to need a specific size a little bit here screwdriver with a star shape and uh, or a hex key this one fits I've got a little kit that has different sizes and this one here it's a special just super cheap one that continually turns the same way doesn't matter which way you turn it which is a lot easier than just screwing one way the whole time this uh, goes uh, clockwise and anti clockwise it's very handy to have so there's two screws here one there and one there and that's all you need to take it off I don't have a, a one of those fat wrenches to uh, get the proper torque settings I just use hand tight remember which screw goes in what hole so they're longer screws you can update these screws too to stronger ones as well but I didn't get those in the uh, package that I got you can replace the bottom metals uh, as well standard ones are plastic you can get metal ones and have different magazines as well it's got an extra cost you buy them off of ebay as well Then that comes off as so with the other bolt. You can leave the bolts in there just so you know where to put them. Put it aside. Which leaves this exposed. So you can uh, take the stock off for cleaning as well. Just slide it off gently. here is the stop here is the recall lug there you can see inside of it all the plastic bits here to change the uh, fore end which we will do while we're here there's the little uh, bolt in there which I'll have to get a, one of these screw attachments here on my little set one of these sizes may fit and uh, we'll change the uh, forehand as well the, this is the old stock and it has uh, doesn't have the extra um, reinforcement um, making sounds in the stock which is new one supposed to reduce the sound of the plastic sound I don't really care about that at all um, you can make it a heavier gun as well by filling up with uh, some sort of sand or something uh, lead weights in the back if you really need to uh, make it a little bit heavier a little bit balanced uh, heavy in the rear because the barrel is very heavy at the front um, just grab some pliers or something or if it just comes out by itself obviously they're pressed in um, I need something to get that out um, so in the meantime we'll just have a look at the barrel uh, and um, give it a clean while it's out too uh, you can change these as well to metal ones by removing this pin here it has a little spring on the inside here and you hold it down while you remove it or else it's an expensive part to get back here is the trigger standard here 
Here's the little trigger screw and this screw holds the trigger to the action. Show you the safety here. And uh, underneath here, it's a very clean barrel, there's no rust or anything from the factory. It has the stamping here. Yeah. Very nice, I like it. So, here it has a bit of like lock tight on there. All you need to do is place this screw all the way to the rear, it can't come out, and uh, we'll grab a little Allen wrench, I'm not sure if this is a size, so I might need it smaller, so I'll grab a smaller one, so I'll be back. Okay, got the uh, proper key for it, I think they're two and a half uh, mil, place it inside anti-clockwise we'll undo the lock tight here and that's all you need to do can't go anywhere that's as far as it wants to move in anti-clockwise to reduce it and clockwise is to make it heavier I'll just uh, also this here, I've got some pliers, I've released it a bit here, as you can see here, it's uh, got a little bit of wall already, just like scratch on it, and uh, this is very, very light, and uh, easier to be worn down, this is the new one, here, black colour, it's a lot thicker, and this just sits inside here in the stock in that part there and reduces the wear this is very light so it's heavy big difference hopefully that will make it more accurate and all you need to do is just uh, place it back in the stock like that place it in there but we'll be removing the forend here and placing the T3X upgrade as so just goes in there, the other one was a bit trickier to get out you can probably bed the stock if you like probably uh, might be a good idea Now we will uh, get those screws out and uh, they should come out pretty good. I'll go get that now. Okay, here got the uh, new forend T3X upgrades here. I've got a lot uh, grippier texture here, it's thinner, it looks to me. Um, you can see here the difference, it's a lot thinner, slipperier, this one's a lot more like a triangle, like a cheese grater feel. My understanding is that we'll have to take the stud out, undo do the two screws here. It should just pop off and place them back on again. I've never actually done this, uh, so we'll try that now. Obviously, I need something to hold that on the bottom while I do it. Drop that in there. I'm key in there.
Yep, it's loose. It's a no trick there. Don't lose your washer and uh, nut. So you push the stud out. Let's see. You can either replace these if you like or um, drill a hole, place it in the uh, side as you see in the tactical models. You can put another one in there if you like to, having the uh, double uh, sling studs for the uh, bipod and the so we'll do the same for the back just has another screw I think, pin but it's not a stud it's a lot easier to come out alright that's out Push the pin out, there's a the little pin. Now you've got the holes there. It should just come off. Alright, it just does pull off. I've had a go. Um, and what I didn't realise is actually it's just this forehand that's actually been put on. You can actually, uh, it's got the, the standard uh, sporter. Uh, contour lightweight underneath which I didn't know and uh, I should have uh, taken them on off a while ago uh, to get me a uh, better slimmer grip on it so if you didn't know that well you do now um, and all we do is place this back on here um, I'm happy with the, the, the varmint uh, look so I'll put it back on but so uh, yeah, just a standard stock with this uh, little attachment on there. So doing the same in reverse, placing this inside. Clip on, push it back. Looks like you had to drill a hole in the bottom of that one too. Okay, so we'll have to get some holes drilled. Okay, we've uh, got a drill with a 5mm drill bit, and uh, at the moment I'll put the stud back on. As you can see here, the stud normally goes in the back bit on the bottom here, but they've put the stud at the further back for some reason. Um, and here that won't be used either because we'll be drilling into the same spot that it was here so it'll be a hole in there and uh, that stud will go back there I'm not fussed uh, really with that hole um, or else you can uh, drill straight into this hole and uh, see where it comes out but I think it will go right here in, in the middle there so I'm pretty sure don't drill there if you're not happy then just put this one back on it's just a little bit grippier it's the same length and size so you put your stud back in, it's in that hole there, you put your washer back in, or not, stud's not long enough, 
So I'm going to say we're going to use the original. And because the stat is too short. And so we'll have to uh, drill into the front there and drill into that one and then uh, we'll have extra holes so that looks like what we're going to be doing so I'll drill the uh, hole which is a bit of a bummer but I will have two little holes that will be sticking out in the wrong place to fill them up take a drill place it in the top here keep it straight So I've got the first hole drilled out, so we'll put the stud back in the front here. So when we do our second uh, drill, that it will be, wouldn't move. Place this back on, place this back on, and then uh, make sure that your stud is, is in the right position. And uh, use the Allen key, put it back in there, and make sure it's in that place. As so. So there'll be a hole in there now for some reason. Probably put another stud through there later on. Plug up the hole. Or it could be a cooling vent really. The barrel gets hot. We'll place that other one in there. We've got our uh, second hole drilled out now. I've got to place this pin back in there. It does have a bit of a, a gap between here but I uh, can't really do anything about it. Uh, you might need to make that hole a little bit uh, more recessed and uh, but when you tighten it up it'll be right. so you place that under the bottom there as far as you can. Put the washers back on the top there. that back in there. Tighten it up. fairly tight. It's starting to go into the plastic there. Let's push that in and now it's uh, on there permanently and uh, that's what it looks like. Despite the uh, little hole there, could uh, cool the barrel down so I'd say that's a vent, that's a plus or a extra sling swivel. But uh, yeah, that wasn't too much trouble to uh, do the extra two holes. Uh, it's going to be a lot nicer uh, in grip texture, that's about it. Same width I'd say, I said it was a bit thinner but underneath there is the exact same as what's on there, on the, butt, on the spores, on the lights. Um, 
very happy with how that turned out. Obviously, if you've got a sling, that you would have to detach the uh, front of it off and uh, place it back on there. Now you place the uh, barrel and trigger back on there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, what's left is the uh, scope and uh, how to put a scope on. Get our barreled action, put it back in. Place the trigger, guard back. The proper screws in the proper holes. As so. And uh, tighten. Just tighten it just a little bit at a time, just for now. Place the rear one in the back. Make sure everything lines up. It's going in there good. Take the weight off, push it on the action. Starting to get tight. Hand tight is good enough. And uh, there we have our rifle. Looking pretty good now. The nice new forend. Still got the old one if you need it. It doesn't have the sticker on it anymore. You might be able to peel that off and uh, place it back on the other one, but it's all good. All these parts you can uh, sell them if you want, or you can. Uh, when you sell this rifle you might want to change it and give them the old stuff and then uh, put the new stuff back on another teak rifle when you get one. Placing the uh, bolt back now will test the trigger. Making sure it's safe and it doesn't uh, go off unexpectedly. Just checking that. The trigger should be light. Definitely is a lot, a lot nicer. So that's uh, two pounds. Pretty nice. One more time. Still feels very stiff, so the more I'll use it, the uh, less it uh, should weigh. Not a lot of creep in it. Brand new gun. It's nice. Next thing we'll be putting our scope on, which would be finishing off the uh, project uh, for the moment.